my name is Christopher and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be covering a little bit of a topic that I usually don't do, but I'm going to be talking to you about coming out. Now, why am I talking about coming out at this time so early in the channel? Well, it just happens to be my first year anniversary of being out myself, so there's that. First thing I want to disclose is that I did not do a particularly good job at coming out altogether. I did it very weird in a really weird order with a lot of things that, that I could have done a lot better. So this definitely is not a blueprint of how to come out if that's what you're looking for then I'm sorry about that. I do have a lot of tips on what not to do because, well, it took me about six months to come out in total. <laughs> it was a really long time and it was really weird, but we'll get to that. The other thing I want to get into before actually going on with the video is that I, I actually celebrate two days, dates, when it comes to coming out. I came out to my girlfriend in October and then in January I came out to my brother and my parents and my sister. And I did that, um, technically speaking, over two days, the 20th and the 21st. But my brother, I'm pretty sure I told him after midnight because I took all night to actually work up the courage to tell him. So I told my girlfriend in October of 2017 she was the very first person that I told and at this point I didn't know what to do, I didn't know where to go but the problem, well problem really was that we had met online and I sort of led her to believe that I was a cis guy which was a little crappy of me. Okay so my brilliant plan of telling my girlfriend I was trans was to simply send her a picture and I sent that picture. And the worst thing was actually about it, not that I was very much convinced that she would be able to tell immediately like, hey, this is not a guy. But the thing was, she didn't see it. The reaction of my girlfriend was actually, hey, you're cute. What am I supposed to see? And then came this awkward moment where I actually had the phrase that I was trans and that I hadn't even started transitioning yet. Well, telling my girlfriend was actually a good thing because she didn't hold it against me and actually she was a very, very big help to me because she actually helped me to find out what the steps were that I had to take in order to actually get help and get onto the medical track and everything. The first step in the Netherlands is to go to your GP to get a referral for a hospital or the organization that you're going to be with. So that's what I did and uh, she didn't let me back down so there I had the amazing awkward talk where I make myself as little as possible on, this, on the chair in the office of my GP and I had to tell him that uh, yes, I always felt like this, yes, I really wanted that referral and thank God he was actually kind of happy about it because oh yes, I've never had a trans person in my office before and like, <laughs> yay, that's so comforting to hear, thank you and then he proceeded into giving me the worst piece of advice I had, well, one of the worst pieces of advice that I had up to date. He advised me not to come out yet. If you're watching, if you're still closeted and you're trans, it's safe to come out and it's taking a lot of energy, please do not listen to this advice because as long as it's safe to come out, you should come out. Even if it's hard, because it's much harder to keep going like this. So thanks to what the doctor told me at this time, I lived a double life for three, four months. And in this time, whenever I was with my girlfriend or when I was home alone, I would be presenting as male. But when I went out to places where I could meet people or if I went to work, if I went to my parents, everywhere, I would still present as female. And quite honestly, this was a very rough time on me. It was very stressful and really did not do a lot for my mental health. The only good thing that came from this period was that I sort of started testing out reactions that I got from people when I came out to them. And I started, and this is actually a piece of advice if you have that, if you can safely do this. I started coming out to people around me like in small steps. I started testing the water, I started to test what kind of reactions am I getting. So I told people like my chiropractor, I told the hairdresser at some point so she could do my hair so I could wear it female and male. 
spoiler alert, I never wore it in a feminine way. Actually, now that I think of it, let's show that to you. Something I also did uh, during this time, I first went to Poland to visit my girlfriend, she was living there at the time, and I went there completely presenting as male. Can do a separate video about airport security, and I will do that at some point, because that was just hilarious, really. If you have the right mindset, anyway. Where it got really complicated was when my girlfriend came to the Netherlands, because I went to see her a little bit before Christmas for the first time, and I actually booked her on a flight after Christmas to come to my place for two weeks. The problem with this was that I couldn't let her meet my friends as long as I wasn't out or she had to misgender me. So after thinking for a really long time, we decided together that I would have to come out at some point anyway. And most of my friends were fairly accepting. So I decided to come out to the friends that actually came here to meet my girlfriend. I did this again brilliantly, not recommended. I did this by texting the friend who was coming over about 30 minutes before they came over with the news. Oh, by the way, I have to tell you, I'm trans. Bye. That was basically what I did. And, and, and again, to the friends I did this too, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I would have done better if I could have done it better at the time. And then January came around. As I told you, in January was when it got a little bit uneasy because my brother, sometime, I think it was a couple of days before that, he called me and he asked me, Hey, Chris, by the way, that girl that you're always texting and you're always replying to within like 30 seconds, who comes over and you fly to the other side of Europe for her. That's not just a friend, is it? That was actually something I thought about before, that I didn't want to come out twice, not once as gay and then again as trans, like, that just doesn't work for me. It was like, oh, hey, I, I like women. And then like two years later, when finally I would be through the waiting lists. Oh, by the way, I'm trans. How long have I known? A while. My whole life. That didn't really seem like a good plan, so I didn't do that. Uh, so when he asked, I was going to see him the weekend after, he asked me and I just said yes. And then I told myself, okay Chris, this is it. You don't want to come out twice, you, you promised yourself you wouldn't do that. So now you have to tell him. So I went to my brother, I sat there through the whole night, waited until my niece and nephew, uh, who are teenagers now by the way, had gone to bed, waited a little bit longer, and then finally after, after I'm pretty sure it was after midnight, I gathered all my courage and I told my brother, by the way, I am not gay. Yeah, I, I just realized that um, my coming out was um, telling my brother I wasn't actually gay. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Not your typical coming out, no. After the initial shock, because my brother was sort of shocked, and his wife too, by the way, who was also there, but he was very supportive from the start. So we talked about it, we actually talked way into the night, which is not normal with my brother. And by the time I left, my brother had convinced me that if I had told him, that I would have to tell mom and dad too. And he offered me to come and help me the next day because my parents live on the other side of the country and I usually stayed over at my parents' place and then would visit my brother from there. So I went back to my parents, had the worst Sunday in the history of Sundays, waiting for my brother to show up and help me tell them. And then I sat down. My brother came over and my mother and my sister weren't available at the time. So we sat there discussing the weather and the weather. Then, then we talked a little bit about sports, which was actually kind of nice. And we just kind of filled up the time until my mom and sister got back. And then it happened. My brother set everybody down. He did a little intro for me and um, he's well, well, and Chris has to tell you something. And he thinks it's very hard, but I know we're a loving family and we're going to love him no matter what. I'm still very grateful for those words, by the way. And then my parents actually took it fairly well. It 
was just a shame that about a week later they realized what it meant and it wasn't that okay anymore and they're still sort of working on that. As I mentioned before, this all happened on a Sunday. So when I was done with my parents, I drove back home and I was absolutely drained and exhausted. So the next day I did something very uncharacteristic for me and I actually called in sick to work. I used the Monday to get myself together and make sure that I had enough momentum and decided, hey, if my family knows, if my parents know, if my friends know, I don't want to do this anymore at work. So on Tuesday I went to work and I decided that uh, it was time to come out there too. So I went to the HR department and I talked to the person that was in charge of my department and she helped me come out to the whole company and to my manager and stuff like that. And that actually went fairly well too. So that's why actually why I celebrate this one too, because this is the, the part where I also started my social transition. Because after that, I have never worn anything that I didn't want to wear ever again. And that was the best feeling in the world. Now, as you may have noticed, this was all in January. So we were only like four months in yet. And I said that it took me almost six months. That's because the last step of coming out, I actually just did on Facebook. I thought it was pretty brilliant, actually. What I did is everybody who was important to me, I contacted them personally and I came out to them. Sometimes over the phone, sometimes over text, sometimes in person. But I took this time to come out to all my close friends. So what I did was the day before my birthday, I went on Facebook and I changed my gender marker to male. I changed my name. I changed my profile picture to a much more masculine version. As I mentioned before, I did not want to come out twice, so I also changed relationship status to in a relationship with my girlfriend. And I basically updated everything and then just sat back and watched all hell break loose. I have never in my life been more popular on my birthday, ever. A lot of people say that coming out never really stops and that is actually true. Although most people in my life now know what's going on, who I am and where I'm going, there's also a lot of people that don't. And also I'm still in school, I switch blocks every five weeks, which means that every five weeks I do the same talk about being transgender because not all of my classmates know yet. It's a big class, I can't help it. But the one thing I'm proud to say is that I did get better at coming out. Although I have to also make a side note there and tell you that I couldn't really get any worse. To wrap it all up, coming out was one of the best decisions I ever made in my entire life. I don't regret coming out. I do regret parts of the process, but not the experience in itself. My life has become so much richer and so much better and so much more enjoyable since I came out that I don't know why I didn't do it before and I also don't really know what I was so afraid of. Anyway, enough about me. My question for you today is have you ever come out and yes, what was your experience like? And for the people who did not come out, well, first of all, you lucky person and the question to you is really, did anyone ever come out to you? And how did that go? That's all I've got for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It's, it's somewhere down here. I always kind of forget where it is, but I trust you, you'll find it if you want it. Also, I post new videos on Wednesdays. Yeah, that's it. Because that boy is not an option.